In this video, GPT Store from OpenAI is finally open. How Scammers Use Neural Networks Spanish Artist Will Marry a Hologram New Gadget with Artificial Intelligence, Rabbit R1 Synthesized Voices of Actors Can Now Be Used in Video Games Friends, Welcome to Neuron News, and we are excited to greet you in our new episode. So, get comfortable, we're starting. Remember the Black Mirror episode, where a woman lived with a digital copy of her deceased husband? Now, it doesn't seem like science fiction anymore. A similar story is unfolding in the real world. Spanish artist Alicia Framis is set to become the world's first woman to marry a hologram. Named Alex, the digital fiancé of the artist represents a composite of the best qualities of Alicia's past partners. The artificial intelligence has been trained on their stories and dialogues. Alicia has been living with her holographic partner for several months now and claims to have no regrets. In her opinion, the hologram, despite its physiological limitations, never conflicts with her, always ready to listen and show empathy. Moreover, thanks to the behavioral patterns of her previous partners, Alex matches them in charisma and conversation diversity. The wedding is scheduled for the summer and will take place in Rotterdam. It is claimed that not only real people, but also Alex's digital friends will be invited, likely created by Alicia herself. How all this will look is genuinely intriguing. Considering the holograms Alicia shows us in the video don't actually exist yet, so it's all just a spectacle. And as for creating a digital companion with any character, you can easily do that in ChatGPT. Whether you want to marry them later is entirely up to you. Scammers have become so advanced in their tactics that they now utilize neural networks to deceive honest citizens. They are now generating people's voices and sending out audio messages requesting money. The algorithm works as follows. First, criminals steal an account on a social network or messenger using phishing links. If you receive a message asking you to vote for a relative or friend's daughter, sign a petition or any other link, be cautious after clicking. Your account might no longer be yours. Once the criminals gain access to the account, they extract audio messages from the conversations and synthesize a voice resembling the person to whom the account belongs. The next step is simple. They send voice messages to all contacts, urgently asking for money on behalf of the account owner. The recipient, hearing a familiar voice, believes it's genuinely their friend in trouble and proceeds to transfer the money. Therefore, if you receive such a message, call your friend and inquire about their well-being. Even better, ask a personal question because technology is evolving so rapidly that tomorrow, the voice speaking might belong to a fraudster. So, take care of yourselves and your funds. A fascinating new gadget was recently unveiled to the public at the CES 2020 for Technology exhibition. The Rabbit R1 is a compact device that can control any mobile applications. Developers claim that while smartphones currently consume our time, the R1 will save it. The gadget features a touch screen, a rotating camera, a scroll wheel, and a button for launching a voice assistant. It operates on a MediaTek processor with a frequency of 2.3 GHz, equipped with 4 GB of RAM and 128 GB of internal memory. R1 is primarily used through voice commands. With the screen serving as a supplementary element, the device runs its own operating system, Rabbit OS, essentially serving as a comprehensive application through which users can easily manage other programs. All that's required is adding the service account to Rabbit OS. For example, it can be used to order taxis, food, play music, send messages, plan vacations, and much more. The most convenient aspect is that there's no need to switch between applications, just tell it what you want. Rabbit R1 doesn't position itself as a smartphone replacement. It includes a SIM card slot, but it's solely for internet connectivity. Making calls from it is not possible. However, immediately after its presentation, 10,000 units were sold, exceeding developers' expectations by 20 times. The next shipments are expected in April. The Screen Actors Guild in the United States has entered into an agreement that allows the use of AI-synthesized voices for dubbing characters in video games. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Previously, this practice raised concerns among professional actor and musician unions, as they were accustomed to earning income from the use of their voices. 
At the CES 2024 exhibition in Las Vegas, the Actors Guild announced a deal with Replica Studios, a company that uses artificial intelligence to mimic the voices of actors and musicians. Under the terms of this agreement, Guild members have the opportunity to license their voices for use in gaming studios. Thus, this practice is now officially regulated in legal terms. The agreement includes minimum rates, secure storage, and labeling of generated content. It also establishes limitations on the time of use of replicas without additional payment and the consent of the rights holders. While this agreement applies to video games, similar arrangements could be reached for other activities such as music and television advertising. OpenAI has finally launched its GPT store, where developers can showcase their own chatbots created using ChatGPT. According to Bloomberg, the total number of individual chatbots created by users of the service has reached 3 million. However, it's not entirely clear how many of them are featured in the official app store at the time of its launch. Over time, chatbot developers will have the opportunity to earn revenue from the sale of their creations on this platform. Enabling the creation of chatbots without the need for programming skills makes it accessible to a wide range of users, likely leading to active content development on the platform. The GPT Store offers category selection and a search system to find chatbots with the desired functionality. Examples of community creativity include chatbots, assisting in learning any discipline or providing culinary recipes. The options are truly diverse. Developers of bots for the GPT store will receive compensation based on the popularity of their creations. Initially planned for a late November launch, the App Store faced delays due to events related to the resignation and return of CEO Sam Altman. New chatbots will be introduced in the store every week. Many experts note that the GPT store could revolutionize and integrate into our lives, much like Apple did with its App Store. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to share your opinion in the comments. We wish you all the best and good luck.